A new bill to ban texting and driving is making its way through the legislature. A Senate panel has approved the bill and now it's headed to the full Senate. Lindsay Reiser spoke with one family whose lives were changed because someone wasn't paying enough attention. Vinny Sorcy lives in Chino Valley with his children, but after they go to bed, loneliness sets in. Sometimes I'll still wait for her to, to call me or, or I'll come home and she'll be cooking. Vinny's life changed forever when police walked up the driveway to his home to tell him that his fiancée, Stacy Stubbs, the mother of his little girl, was killed in a car accident. And when he found out the driver who ran into Stacy's car had been texting and driving. I was just livid. It happened here on Lake Pleasant Road two years ago, but the anguish is still fresh today and drives Vinny to push for this new anti-texting bill. This family story is a painful and tragic one, but it's also a reminder that accidents can happen anytime, anywhere, not just on busy roads. This does have a powerful addictive draw to it. Representative Steve Farley is the co-sponsor of a bill moving through the Arizona State Senate that would allow officers to pull someone over if they spot them texting behind the wheel. And just as in years past, he knows there's a lot of opposition, such as the Arizona Citizens Defense League, a nonpartisan lobbying group. In a phone interview, Secretary Charles Heller told us, We're dead set against it. The ability of a police officer to pull someone over because they're texting is a pretext for a fishing expedition. The minute it affected their family, they changed their mind. Vinny plans on traveling to the state capitol with his daughter, Becca, to help get this bill passed. In the meantime, it's back to his normal schedule, or what is as close to normal as he can get. It's lonely sometimes, more than sometimes. Hoping no family will have to go through what he has. In Chino Valley, Lindsay Reiser, Cronkite News. A study by the Virginia Tech Transportation Institute says that those who text while driving are 23 times more likely to be in an accident than non-distracted drivers.